should just remain. Well, I think uh, that's why this, our discussion is very, very healthy <laughs> because, you know, at the root of Nigeria's economic recovery, it should be the issue of issue of compensation for the working men and women, workers generally. And I think it's time for us to treat a uh, wage issue like any other microeconomic issues, as we are discussing GDP, inflation, and we want to be able to see at a glance what is the average pay of the workers in the country because it's important i mean uh, i've argued that nigeria needs wage-led economic recovery and i think president bola metinobu uh, also says so you know and it's uh, both as a candidate and later on when he became a president that it's even good economics for you to pay your workers very well because workers pay goes to buy basic goods and services you know, you you can't run this economy if there's no effective demand. Demand that is back up by pay. In fact, the crisis we're having is also crisis of low purchasing power. Yeah. Mm. You know, so if yeah, you pay workers very well, the private sector it goes to buy the goods that Smart and Co. produce. Yeah. The, the so manufacturers good, pay are rent, complaining right And even now. the states, you know, and I think the state governors have to be well informed that, you know, even the civil service, which is the core of their economy, cannot they can't run their state if they don't pay them very well mm -hmm. and on time too you know because some of the default the poverty level in the state would not be unless you pay people very well so uh, i think it is clear that we can't debate whether there's need for improvement in this pay mm -hmm. but back to your question i i also want to say that we need to differentiate minimum pay i've been saying so mm -hmm. from the living pay you know, minimum pay, uh, is, I think we have a consensus now. Yeah. That is the, is the one yeah. below which nobody will pay. And it's open to periodic negotiation. In fact, the point uh, uh, Prof tried to address, I think about volatility, volatility, you know, of rate, inflation and co. Some other countries have moved on to mm -hmm. make sure minimum wage. You don't even need this five-year circle. And I hope during this year negotiation, you will look at the time. You know, just waiting for five years, you know, things have really yeah. changed for us. You don't need that. We can be reviewing this periodically. UK, for instance, they do so now every year, 1st of April. If our minimum wage just moved in UK now from uh, 10 pounds per hour, you know, to 14 pounds. You know, of course, in the United States, you know, Joe Biden also tried to increase minimum pay. So it's not done this dramatized way. It's just for the vulnerable, that minimum pay. But now, the struggle for living wage must be continuous every other day, mm. every other year, yeah. depending through the process of collective uh, bargaining. Mm. And I think I've seen the trend also in public service. I think we should have the numbers. Maybe in Salary and Wages Commission, we let us know what is yeah. going on. Don't forget last year, there was 40% uh, increase in core civil service pay. Uh, early this year, uh, um, in fact, just last month, last month yeah. uh, we have some, you know, increase of 25, 30 percent mm -hmm. on different kind of uh, salary structure that have been going on. So, mm -hmm. these have taken place through the process of collective bargaining mm -hmm. that is not happening in public sector. That's what we should encourage, you know. So, uh, the, the, the point I would also raise is that this minimum wage is just the one that we must get right. At the, at the minimum level. Now, after the minimum wage negotiation, you know there will be consequential adjustment. People will look at relativity, talking of the relativity you talk about. There will be negotiation between the unions such a way that it will impact on the existing salary structure. You know, but even if minimum wage is not being reviewed, it is, it is, it is the duty of government, state government, together with their unions, with the you that represent the workers, to have periodic review of the wages of their of their workers to reflect the prevailing cost of living to also reflect productivity because that's also very important mm -hmm. and that's how we have the unions i mean i used to be in textile very well we virtually review wages every every two two years mm -hmm. you know i will have people collective bargaining uh, and so which normally goes beyond the prevailing uh, national minimum wage you know so you don't need to wait for that five five year cycle and that's why the I mean, private sector uh, experience could be brought into bear. But even though Mr. Smart talks about private sector, but I'm also not too much. There are still some people who are not organized, who are in private sector, who still pay workers less than, less than what is obtainable. obtainable. Mm. Well, and this is why 